Kyo, you you could start with this one, but and you guys, other guys can answer it if you want. What what does it say about this team, this program that you're down two starters and you're able to beat a team like Purdue? Yeah, um, you know, we just had the next man up mentality. Um, you know, we we're a really good team. You know, that's that's what that's what we believe. Um, you know, every guy has the ability to step up and make plays, and you know, you saw that today. And we all believe in each other. You know, coach believes in everyone on this team, and I think we just showed that today. Uh, my question is for Montez. Um, just career high night. Just talk about what was going on for you. Um, you know, I was just going out there just playing. Um, I know we was down a couple guys, so it's just a next man up mentality. Um, I just do whatever it takes for my team to get the win. That's all. Go to Brian Fonseca and Jay. Uh, yeah, Montez, you went perfect from three on five. Uh, you're shooting twice as many threes this season than you have the last two seasons. Are you getting more comfortable in, in that area? Uh, I believe so. I feel like I put a lot of work in on my three-point shot every day. So, I mean, I just put the work in. I just feel confident with myself with makes or misses. So, I could just as long as I'm putting the work in, I can live with the results. This is for Gio and for Paul. What can you guys say about Montez's confidence and how much that's gone up from last year going into this season? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, like like Tez just said, you know, he's we we've seen him putting in the work every single day, you know, um, before practice, after practice, and um, you know, you see us kicking it out to him for three, and you know, we expect the ball to go in when he shoots it. So, um, I feel like our whole team's been working really hard in the off season, you know, nice seeing the results now. I'll go to Matt Sukam and then Aaron. Me and Gio, for you guys to be able to close out a game on foul shots like you did after, you know, struggling the last couple of games, how important is that just for confidence going forward? Yeah, I mean, I think we have a really confident team. So, I don't, um, you know, I think that that was always there, but we just showed really good veteran leadership. Um, you know, I stepped up, JY stepped up, you know, a lot of guys stepped up, made free throws today. And, um, you know, that's, that's what good teams do. That's what great teams do. And, um, that's going to lead to more wins down the road. Uh, Gio, after last game, uh, you said that the loss had humbled the team. Uh, how important was it for this team to respond, you know, shorthanded or not? And, and what do you think this win will do for your, the team, especially with guys like Reber and Oscar, you know, making contributions? Yeah, it was it was really important that we bounced back. Um, you know, we we felt like we we let one go. You know, Ohio State, you know, gave us a chance to watch film. You know, correct our mistakes. Um, you know, just get better. And then for the young guys, you know, we tell them every day how much we believe in them. You know, those guys are competing every single day behind the scenes in practice. And, um, you know, they had their numbers called today and everybody stepped up. And that's what a great team does. So, yeah. We'll go over to Richie and then Matt Manley. Uh, this one's for Paul. Paul, I think this is the first time you uh, hit three three-pointers in a game since you uh, joined Rutgers. How, how important is that to you? And um, how confident are you in your deep ball? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been working on it a lot. Um, I saw Tez come back and he was really shooting it. So I try to you know shoot with him. Um, but yeah, it's just building confidence. Uh, and yeah, I'm confident in the shot and the guys put me in good positions to, uh, hit open shots. So. Yeah, this is for anybody who wants to comment on, on it. Um, what did you guys see from, from, Jake all week um, looked like he was battling through it, and I know he kind of was limited in what he could do at practice. But what sort of uh, what sort of um, you know what did you see from him all week, and and what did you draw from seeing him out there working through it? I would just say you know he's a fighter, um, like the rest of us. You know, a couple guys are banged up right now. You know, obviously got a couple guys out. Um, you know, but this is basketball. You know, we love to play the game. JY said he was good to go. Um, you know, and that's that's one of our senior leaders. So you know, we believe in him. We trust him. You know, we saw him out there fighting. You know, he knocked down big free throws too. So it just shows his, his toughness and uh, shows his confidence. Go back over to Jerry Colino and then Brian Fonseca. This is for Paul. Paul, what kind of message does this send to the team when Gio? dives out of bounds to save the loose ball three times in the first 10 minutes. That's big time plays. <laughs> uh, yeah, Gio's the, our captain. Uh, he sets the tone. 
Um, and, and making plays like that, uh, they don't, you know, come up on a on the stat sheet, but um, they're impactful plays and 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 stuff like that rubs off on everybody. So those are yeah, those are big plays. Three. Uh, Gio, this is your best game since you've come back from the injury. Uh, you looked as the most comfortable that we've seen you. Just how comfortable do you feel, and how much of an onus did you take upon yourself to you know, play this well, given that you guys were so shorthanded? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel real comfortable out there. Um, you know, I have great teammates, great coaches who believe in me, you know, put me in good spots to score and make plays. Um, you know, with Ron out, obviously that's a lot of scoring that's gone, um, efficient scoring that's out. So, you know, I have to take more shots. Um, the guys believed in me, obviously Tez too. And then, yeah, so, we, you know, I think we just did a good job of that. A little bit of Richie next and then Aaron Brightman. Uh, I don't have a question. And then uh, this is actually for all three of you. Um, obviously, you're all used to playing a big minutes in the second half, but uh, you exclusively, along with uh, Miles and Jacob, played pretty much the entire second half. Uh, did you guys kind of expect that going in? And was there anything in terms that you guys talked about in terms of kind of being able to uh, have that endurance to close it out? Um, I, I say we were just focused on winning the game. Um, you know, we don't, we don't really know what's coming in a game. There's a lot of obstacles. Uh, everyone is ready to play, but you know, we, we happen to be the guys that are playing the most in the second half and, you know, we're just trying to get a win. That's, that's our mentality. Uh, same thing Gio said, uh, we was just trying to win a game and just doing whatever it takes to win. So we, we weren't really thinking about like who was out there. We was just trying to win. We can go to Brian Fonseca. Uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, you guys are 7-1, and one and you guys haven't played a game with the full roster yet. I guess what does that show about the team, and, and, and how good do you guys feel like you can be when the full roster is available? Yeah, um, you know, really good. Uh, we, like I've always said, we're a really confident team. Um, I feel like we're really focused. Um, you know, today in shoot-around, we got the fire alarm going off, and – no one, no one missed a beat. Everyone was still, you know, just locked in, focused on the game plan. So I feel like we have a really good uh, focused team, and that that's going to help us win games down the stretch. We go to uh, Jaden, and then Bobby can finish it out. Jordan. All right, we'll go. We'll let. We'll go. Just have one more from Bobby. Yeah, there. I guess any of you guys can answer this. I see the the bench kind of getting re pretty loud and almost rowdy. It seems at times. Uh, do you guys hear that? What's that like for you out on the floor when with no crowd being there? Yeah, I kind of been waiting to talk about this. Uh, our bench has done a phenomenal job. They're like that last season. Um, There's just a lot of crowd noise. We've got guys on the dream team: Aiden Terry, Daniel Loback. Luke Nathan, Caleb McConnell, Nick Brooks, and TJ Thompson, who come in every day. They learn a new team's plays in two days. They work hard. They give us the perfect replica of another team. They they do everything that no one sees or talks about. But these guys have helped us all year, all last year. They come in and they work. And then they bring energy every day, positive energy on the bench. And they've done an absolutely amazing job. And – and they don't often get talked about, but like those guys have have set us up and put us in the position that we are right now. I think Paul got that one. Yeah. I think Paul got that one. Pretty good. I've been I've been waiting to talk about that for a long time. I'm sorry, I got my. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll let it. We'll, we'll end it with that passionate speech from 